New episode added. Weaponry updated. That's a Federation signal. You sure you don't need to answer that? None of your business. <laughs> That's a bit cold. Stop deflecting. I want an answer. That's why- I told you, the destruction of the comet was an accident. Sinking it was never a part of the plan. I didn't order them to attack your ship either. It was just a tantrum by an immature Valkyria. But... Now you understand, don't you? Those things aren't meant to exist. They're dangerous and cruel weapons, and humanity can't control them. That's why I asked you. I'm the one asking questions here. <sighs> I was given this transceiver by one of the refugees. Or one of your spies mixed in with them. Is that why they came? Did you attack that village and drive them out just to get this to me? Hmm. I talked to those refugees, Kai. A lot of people died in that attack. Children, the elderly, pregnant women. Did you know what would happen when you gave that order? Yes. Sacrifices had to be made. Soldiers aren't the only ones who put their lives at risk. Changing the world takes compromise. Otherwise, the tragedies of history will only be repeated. All that matters is that you accomplish your goal. Only that can justify the sacrifices you've made. Plot said the same thing. If we don't do something, the tragedy will never stop. We have to believe in our goal and keep moving. I see. Our perspectives may be different, but he and I are one and the same. No, you're not! You say the same things, but you couldn't be further apart! Claude told us no matter how tough things get for Squad E, whatever sacrifices we make, we have to keep fighting for the sake of everyone! He would never hurt innocent people for some cause! He's nothing like you! My cause is not nearly so trivial as Claude's. I'm disappointed. I thought you of all people would be on my side. I am! I'm the only family you have. So please listen to me. I've done everything you asked me to do. But you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You went to the Empire to use their power. But you ended up no better than them. You're selfish and cruel, and you toy with human life. All you do is cause more tragedy. You don't care about peace. All you care about is your own twisted cause. Is that why you called me out here? To tell me all this? That's right. I don't take orders from you anymore. So... If this is where we part ways, what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to fight the Empire. And I'll fight you, together with my allies. <laughs> allies? The same allies you betrayed? <laughs> you chose to be a spy. You cannot deny that. Shut up! Who really killed those hundreds of Federation soldiers on the Crystal Sea? You think you can redeem yourself now? No, never mind redemption. Can you even forgive yourself? I will never forgive myself. I'll carry that with me, but I will keep moving forward. Can you, Lena? Kai, what are you? 
What? Well, well, scaredy Claude in the flesh. You've grown up. K Kai! And Raz, this does take me back. You never change. <sighs> and the lovely Riley Miller, always out of our league. I recognized you instantly. I'll take that as a compliment. Kai, what are you doing here? Why are you dressed up like an imp? I don't go by Kai anymore. It's for Seti now. I'm an officer of the Imperial Army. You're with the Empire? Then Lena... <sighs> I believe we've already reunited on the battlefield, albeit indirectly. Didn't you notice, Claude? If not, maybe you haven't grown as much as I'd hoped. Hold on. This is Kai? You mean... the real one? Does that mean he's a spy for the Federation? A double agent? Th that's incredible! So you went undercover to beat the Imperial Army from the inside out. <laughs> I've missed this, Riley. You always had quite an imagination. No, I'm no spy. Though, I did plant a spy among you. Or at least, she used to be one of mine. Huh? What are you getting at? I joined the Imperial Army of my own free will. That's the truth. I'm working for a cause. I need power to see it through. This world is twisted, and I'm going to change it. Kai! War has changed, Claude. Nations fight each other, but it's not about territory or resources anymore. Okay, that sounds a lot like the trailer stuff that I saw for Metal Gear Solid 4 when it was coming. Getting ready to come out. War has changed. Nations fight each other through proxy wars. Da, 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 da. The system we know as war has been twisted beyond the human desires and competitions that sparked it. It's become its own culture, its own catalyst, its own reason, Claude. It's human insanity made manifest. I saw that insanity myself. I saw the way war had been twisted, and I vowed to stop it. Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! The Imperials are here! We're pulling out! It's begun. What has... I gave you the trigger. Your memory should come back. Never forget how much blood will be spilled because of you. Blood? A friend of yours? Perhaps she'll be the first to pay the price. What? No! I don't want that! Then go back. Go back to the people who chose you. And then, finally... <sighs> go. Now. I'm sure you will. Lady Cremaria! 
What? Did, did any Federation soldiers come this way? We were in pursuit, but we've lost them. They've been dealt with. I melted them down until nothing was left. <laughs> Angie, how are we supposed to live like this? Who can we... What can we believe in? Okay, everyone's here. Wait, Rags is gone. What? But he always stays when I tell him. Did something happen? <clears throat> Rags! Is that... Andy? What are you doing here? We can talk later. Right now we need to leave. We're rolling out. Hang on tight. Fantastic. With this much fuel, we can go for weeks without losing speed. Not just fuel, either. We got weapons, ammo, trucks full of this stuff. That's a huge help. Take the food to the galley immediately, and pack the ammunition for easy access. We'll use their own shells to tear through their armor. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, there's eggs, milk, and sugar, too. We gotta get the cook to whip up some eggnog. Hey, it is practically the holidays. Man, I miss my mom's cooking. <sighs> so, um... You know how I left Hoffin before the rest of you? Seeing him didn't shake me up too badly. People change, and there's nothing we can do about that. But Kai, how much do you really know about all this? I'm as confused as you. He never really told me anything. He just dropped his cryptic hints. But if I told you what I do know, it would only hurt you. So I can't. Riley, Claude. You know Kai. The one who's been on our side the whole time, I mean. She's not the kind of person to lie or hide anything. So if she says she can't tell us, she means it. Please, just don't push her on this. Raz. Wow. When did you turn into a cool guy? Huh? I didn't know you had it in you. Riley. <laughs> Raz got there before I could. What? I trust Kai too. I mean, we're all friends here. Yeah, we were friends way before any of this military stuff. You guys. I'm sure we'll find out when the time comes. If she can't tell us now, I won't ask. Is that okay with you, Kai? What? See, Kai? We're good, right? Everyone. Everyone. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, Andy. You know everyone would be really sad if something bad happened to you, right? So... You can't run off without telling anyone, okay? Sorry. You can just tell someone if you want to get off this ship, you know. We could take you someplace safe. No, I like being on the ship. I like everyone here. I just wanted to be useful, and I thought maybe being in town would help me remember. Angie. Just seeing you smile is enough for everyone here. The battlefield is scary. Sometimes we forget how to smile. So, we're all glad you can help us remember. You don't have to worry about being useful to us. We just want you to be happy. Okay? Riley. But you wanted to get your memories back, huh? Did you remember anything about your past? 
I... um... a little... It's fine, though. You don't have to force it. If you don't have any memories, we can make some new ones. Everyone here can help you with that. New memories? And I think it's time for new memory number one. Since you said you're sorry... Ta-da! Your big sister Riley's special homemade pudding! Pudding? Hmm? Oh, do you not like custard pudding? I don't know. I've never had it. Wait, you've never had pudding? Not even once? I don't think so. Wow. Maybe your family was super strict? Well, I promise it tastes really good. Go ahead and try it. Okay, thank you. <gasps> it's so sweet! I love pudding! It's really, really good! <laughs> nice to hear it. There's lots more where that came from, so have as much as you want. Okay. Thank you, Riley. Running off without a word? You scare the shit out of me. I still came back, right? Yeah. As long as you're here, I'm good. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I made you worry. I made trouble for you, too. Hey, no big deal. You know I'd do anything for you. That's what I mean. I... Um, I took advantage of your kindness. Uh, 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 oh, damn it! I can't take it anymore! What are you? Yeah, son of a... That hurt, man! Don't get ahead of yourself. Damn it, there's more? Idiot. Uh huh? Worked better than a punch, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now that's a knockout. Chapter 13 Waiting for Springtime. Okie doke. New skirmish. Guilty heart to independent. Obtain Dekelwaffen for a second. Pass now. Glossary. Articles. Okay, so let's go to headquarters. Um, mess all first. Miles, how are the repairs going on those tank treads? Oh, damn it, there's a new thing to learn. They'll be okay, but I do have to apologize. I should have been able to dodge those blasts. Don't beat yourself up over it, Miles. Tanks are big targets, and attractive ones at that. If you weren't such a skilled driver, the Hoffen would have blown up months ago, and everyone here knows it. Thanks. It's just so humiliating being unable to move. Dan's APC was right there, and he dodged it fine. I have to work on becoming a better driver, and avoiding... Hey, knock it off with that jibber-jabber. Dan! An APC ain't no tank. Of course it's quicker. You're driving second to none. You want to work on something. Work out your legs, not your arms. Ah. <sighs> so, like... The pedals for the accelerator, and the brakes, and the clutch. Not your legs, you dingus. The tanks. Oh, I get it. If you fortify the treads, you could take a direct hit and still keep moving. That's what I said. Mm, looks like I'm not leveling. 
Used to drive a tank myself. I'd be happy to help you out. So. Oh, only one. Theft at Port Kosovul. On the 4th, the Empire Press Secretary announced that the military supplies have been stolen from Port Kosovo, a city under Imperial control on the Crystal Sea coast. The Empire went on to denounce this act as a Federation plot to miraculously targeted innocent Imperial civilians. Analysts believe this announcement was a calculated effort to tarnish the Federation's global reputation. However, a military specialist noted that although Port Kosovo maintains the appearance of a civil port, it is primarily used as a supply base for the Imperial forces. Many of their resupply efforts apparently originate there. We can't speak to the accuracy of the Empire's announcement, but it does mean does seem to be evidence of further information warfare between the Federation and the Empire. We would like to remind our readers to verify their sources. We have shared duty to avoid contributing to the spread of misinformation. Above all else, we must seek the truth. Yay. Okay, let's... Are uh, you... 